This is a short tutorial on how to use the EBSCOhost database on the Los Altos High School website. So from our library page, if you just click on Online Databases here, you'll get to our database page. And the EBSCO database can be found under Mountain View Library Databases. So click on that link. and this page will show up. When you scroll down to the middle, EBSCO host is right here under global search. Let's click on that. And this is where you'll have to enter your uh, Mountain View library card number that we gave you at the beginning of the year. Um, and so that number begins with 2000. So you'll just enter that, log in. And then you'll get a list of all the uh, databases that are included in an EBSCOhost search. So this was this is what makes EBSCOhost so useful: is it has specific databases if you're doing something related to health, or religion and philosophy, or film and television, or education. So a lot of these databases are really useful. Um, the first two are general all-purpose databases, so I usually always check those. And then I'll go to the um, database that is most sort of connected to my topic. So if I were going to keep uh, researching the topic of creativity, for example, I might um, select also the psychology and behavioral science uh, collection in addition. And then once I've collect selected all the databases, I hit continue. And that'll take me to the search page. Um, and now it's just going to search the databases that I've uh, selected. So here's where I'll put in my topic of creativity, for example. And this is what my search uh, results page looks like. So there's lots of different ways that you can look at this information. Right now it's defaulting to relevance. <coughs> so it's um, showing the most relevant articles based on my uh, search topic. Uh, but I can also, you know, change that to just, you know, I want the newest information first. Um, and that will give me the information that is most recent related to my topic. Um, if I look over here, I can limit this to a certain publication date. So if I just want things published in the last, you know, 10 years, I can uh, do that and it'll refresh the page and just give me uh, information that's from the last 10 years. If I only want academic journals, if I click on peer review, it'll just give me academic journals that have been peer reviewed. Um, I can also, uh, if I'm not interested in just looking at academic journals, I can look at some of the other um, results. So I could look at just magazines, newspapers, um, any of these, or I could select, you know, a couple of them. And again, it'll just give me results in those categories. Um, if I'm still trying to find like other uh, subject terms, I can look under different ways of thinking about this topic. This can be really helpful as you begin to research. Look for other thesaurus terms uh, here, um, and that could be really helpful too. Again, I can just check the ones that I'm interested in, update my search, and again, you'll see my overall results go down, but I have much more specific things for my topic. Um, I can look at the subjects, the different types of publications, if I want to look at something in particular, companies, geography. If I just want to look at one database, I can select that database instead of all three. So a lot of different ways I can start to kind of search this information. And once I find uh, an article that I'm interested in, I just click on this. And this will give me a short abstract about what the article is about. Here it is listed as HTML. If I really like this article and I think this is perfect for me, I can use this Find Similar Results page. And what it'll do is take all the sort of keywords in the abstract and find other articles that are related to that article. So once you find one article, EBSCO makes it really easy to find similar articles that will be useful for you. Um, other things you can be familiar with is, you know, allows you to print, email, save, cite, 
export. All of these are useful tools uh, if once you find an article. Um, if it doesn't have an HTML version of the article, it, you will have a PDF full text. And so all you have to do is click on that to get access to it. And it will show up in this window here. And then once it does, you can save it to your desktop or print it um, and then have access to it that way too. If you ever want to refine your search, you can just click that. It'll take you back to this. Um, so you can look under other publications, images, more. So this is all very helpful tools. Okay, if you have any questions, please let us know.